All right, so here's my question for you today. Why am I wearing thick undergarments with a heated vest in a dry suit in the middle of the forest? Anybody want to take a guess? No, I'm not cave diving. No, I'm not sea note diving. Uh, I am going diving today, but what would I be doing out here in this thick forest? Well, in today's video, I'm going to answer that question. Plus, we're going to learn a little bit more about differential pressure or what you guys know as Delta P and how we deal with it in environments where we have zero visibility. What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba and Marine. If you're new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now look around me, it is absolutely beautiful out here. We are up in the upper regions of the mountains of North Carolina and it is beautiful. And as I stated in the teaser, I'm in thick undergarments in a dry suit in the middle of the forest. But if you look over here on the other side, you will notice there's a pond. And this is one of two ponds that we are actually cleaning today. And by cleaning, I mean we're going to the bottom of them and we are vacuuming them out. And yes, I did say vacuum. If you look over here at the other side, you'll notice there is a trash pump or some type of big dredge pump. And basically what we're doing is we're taking that pump down to the bottom of this pond and we are vacuuming the bottom off. We're getting all the runoff. If you notice, as the creeks feed into the pond is pulling a lot of runoff, a lot of leaves, a lot of debris and things like that into it. And the landowner here is wanting the ponds cleaned out. So the best way to do it is take a trash pump, go to the bottom and literally just sweep it back and forth. But as we do that, the water gets very, very murky. It gets almost pitch black and we can't actually see what we're doing. So what I'm gonna do is kind of show you some underwater footage and talk about how we prevent any type of injury or say even death when you're dealing with say a high inflow system or an intake system because delta p or differential pressure is a real thing and it's something that we've got to constantly worry about and i know i've showed you this in our videos where we did it in the pool and i talked about how you know we didn't get on top of the grates and all that we made sure we did a lockout tag out we can't really lock out and tag out this pond so I'm going to show you how we deal with differential pressure in limited vis or zero visibility and some of the cool little uh, tips and tricks that we do to stay safe. So with that being said, let's walk over here to the pump. I'll kind of show you how it works and then I'll show you the, the tips that's going to keep you safe if you get into this type of diving. Alright guys, so here's the pump that we're working, dredge pump, trash pump, whatever it is you want to call it. Right inside this coupling here is an impeller that creates basically suction. And then of course it comes out through this red hose down into the water, creates a suction. It's gonna suck up leaves, debris, just about anything you can imagine. It's gonna pump it up through the impeller. It's gonna chop it up. And then of course it goes out this outflow hose here or this discharge hose. And then basically what we're doing is we are pumping it back down into this creek area here. So it's going on downstream. We're just getting it up off the bottom there. But on the end of this red hose, to make things easier for us, we have a grate or a screen. And what that screen does is that prevents anything from going in that shouldn't go in, such as my hand, right, or my mask, or anything that's going to get sucked up against it. And I'm going to show you here, I'm going to take you back to the shop really briefly and show you how these screens work and talk about how they prevent differential pressure anytime that you're working in an environment like this. All right, guys, we're temporarily back here at the shop, and I'm inside of our public safety trailer. I, I'm still going to make you guys a video on this trailer and everything that's in here and what we use it for, but we also use this for our salvage crew as well. And I've got three different uh, pump hoses here, and I want to explain what these screens are used for and how we use them, but I also want to explain how they keep us safe when we're underwater. If you notice, each one of them has a different diameter hole all the way around it. This It's basically just a mesh screen. And the small smaller the hole, that's going to help uh, prevent anything small from going into the pump. The larger hole is going to prevent anything, say, too large from going in, but yet smaller stuff can still go through it. But basically, in short, if you're underwater and your hand was to get stuck to one of these screens, 
because there's so many more holes in it that water can go inside it, you can very easily just slide your hand off. Now, if you tried to pull it off, there's going to be quite a bit of suction there, and you may have a lot of difficulties, but if you try to slide it down like so, because that water can still go through the other holes in the system, you can very easily get your hand free or your suit free or anything that actually grabs onto it. So that's one of the ways that we stay safe. As I was stating earlier, though, we always try to keep our hand back a certain distance from the screen itself or the protective barrier here and that way we make sure that nothing gets on there but if you're sweeping stuff into it every now and then your glove or your hand may get sucked to it but as I stated because there's extra holes you can very easily just slide your hand right off and that is what keeps us safe even in limited visibility when we can't see nothing when we're underwater so now that you understand how the screens actually work and how they protect us, let's talk a little bit about how I prevent from getting my hand stuck on there when I'm raking stuff out in front of it. A stick. Yep, just a flat piece of bark or stick here. And I can actually use this as a shovel to rake stuff in front of it. And in the event, if this gets stuck to, say, that intake screen or that, that great system, it protects my hand. My hand's not going to get stuck to it. I can actually sweep it out in front of it. And then, of course, if this gets stuck, my hand don't. But that's one of the ways that we stay safe. And the other way is we're just used to the pump system. We know exactly how far um, we can get our hands to it. Now, one last thing I want to show you is where these couplings connect together. There's a little handle here. This is actually a little clamp that you uh, push together to lock the hoses in. Underwater, there's going to be suction, and you're not going to be able to undo that clamp. So we can actually use this as a guide to move the hose around when we're underwater. Think of it as a handle on a vacuum cleaner. And we also understand that the short distance, say, between that and where the intake screen is, we can use that to keep our hands free as well. But that's just another way that we stay safe when we're underwater. Guys, when you have really good visibility, it's super easy to stay safe. As you can see, I've got plenty of vis. I can keep my hand away from the intake, and it's not really a big deal. But you will notice, even here closer to the surface, as I'm moving around, it is starting to stir up a lot of silt and a lot of dirt. And all that debris and that turbidity is coming up. And you'll notice very quickly, as I start to go a little bit deeper, the visibility just completely goes away. It goes to kind of a, a chocolate milk soup looking type water straight into black water. And that's where we have a lot of trouble dealing or trying to stay safe when we're under there. And Delta P is no joke, guys. Even a small little intake system like this can, you know, cause you injuries and even death if you were to get stuck underwater. But um, as I'm continuing down, just watch how quickly things get stirred up and, of course, it just goes to black and this is where uh, being confident in your abilities being properly trained and understanding how delta p works is is very important to you as a diver but there as you can see the screen is just black now and we do have lights we're wearing a helmet that's got several lights on it you know they're 800 to a thousand looms and when it's black those lights are absolutely doing nothing for us so it's very important that you stay safe when you're down there but you can see why we have the screens on there it keeps larger style debris out of it uh, to keep it from getting clogged up but it also prevents us from getting permanently stuck to it if we were to reach up and get our hand up against that screen or up against the intake but uh but there's another great example of just how black it can be when you're underwater 
So there you go guys, that's what we're getting into today. We got several more hours to jump on this pond. We're gonna try to get it finished up today, possibly come back, do the other pond for the landowner and uh, do that tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get it cleaned out. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you got any questions, drop me a comment down below. I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. But once again, check out the view guys. It is absolutely beautiful out here. Let me know down in the comment section below if you would like to dive in say a mountain pond like this. And if you ever have dive, Show me some pictures. Do whatever. Make a video. I'd love to see you guys' experience as well. But I'm going to jump back in it. we got the rest of the day to stay busy. But until our next video, take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video.